In this video, I'm going to show you five unique ways to make money from web pages that most people don't monetize on their website. And if you set them up like I'm about to show you, you can often make more money than pages that are actually built for making money. My name is Matt Diggy, and I make a full-time living from building, monetizing, and flipping websites. I founded a company called Leadspring in 2016 whose primary purpose is exactly that. My experience has shown me that any page on a website can be monetized, if you know how to do it correctly. And I'm even talking about your informational content pages. What is informational content? Building out a website typically starts with keyword research. Using various techniques and tools, you'll discover all the keywords that people are searching for in your website's niche. The first ones that your greedy eyes will notice will likely be your buyer intent keywords, also known as money keywords. If, for example, I was making a website in the CBD niche, these would be keywords like best CBD vape or buy CBD oil. Once you rank for these keywords, you're gonna start making money. Why? Because the buyer intent behind these keywords is perfect. People searching for buy CBD oil already have their wallets out. If you look at the buyer journey as a funnel, people searching for these keywords are considered bottom of the funnel or BOFU because they're ready to convert. But further up on this diagram, we have TOFU, top of the funnel, and MOFU, middle of the funnel. Now what kind of keywords are in these categories? Tofu and Mofu keywords have much less buyer intent. Tofu keywords are typically around creating awareness for people that don't even know there's a solution for the problem they have. Using the CBD niche example, Tofu keywords might include how can I fix anxiety or what is CBD. In both these cases, there's nearly zero buyer intent and the searcher is only now getting introduced to what CBD even is in the first place. Mofu searchers are now aware of CBD and they're typing in stuff like benefits of CBD oil or can CBD fix anxiety. In the affiliate and e-commerce worlds, pages that target tofu and mofu keywords are typically called informational content pages. And they're not usually monetized simply because they don't convert well and there's low buyer intent behind the traffic that landed on those pages, especially with top of the funnel keywords. So we now know that there's pages meant for conversion, also known as money pages. And we know that there's pages that typically don't convert at all, and those are called informational pages. Why would you ever spend the money and time to create the latter? Because if you want to rank your website on Google, it's a necessary evil. There's a concept called topical authority. Here's a hypothetical situation. Let's say two websites are selling CBD oil. One website has 50 different bottom of the funnel pages trying to sell anything and everything related to CBD. Oils, vape pens, cat shampoo, all of it. But there's another website that only has five monetized pages, but they have 45 informational type pages that get into the research, benefits, and side effects of CBD. Which one will do better? I can tell you from experience, the website that acts as an all-in-one resource on a topic will always do better. Where have you seen this before? Well, there's a site called Healthline that you might have heard about before that has over 80 pages just on apples. Once you start to cover the entirety of a topic, Google starts to see you as an authority on that topic and you start to dominate in the search results. I did a really interesting interview with Corey Tugberg on this subject, so make sure to watch it after you watch this video. Another reason this especially applies to websites that are monetized with affiliate links is because since December 2020, Google has been punishing websites with large ratios of money affiliate content. This site right here is gear hungry and it got utterly destroyed. This one is called Best of Machinery, again utterly destroyed. I ran a correlation study with Surfer on over 600 affiliate websites and we essentially found out that the higher percentage of money content you have on your site, the greater the traffic loss you would have seen in the December 2020 Google update. I've actually reversed the damage from this update on one of my sites by focusing on posting exclusively informational content since we got hit. If you want to learn more about my analysis, I posted it up on my YouTube channel as well. So again, check it out after you watch this video. Informational content is a necessary evil if you do SEO. You need it in order to become a topical authority. You also need it so you don't get dinged by this Google penalty. But doesn't it kind of feel like a waste if it's not going to make you money? Well, that's where many people are dead wrong. Informational content can make you a crap ton of money if you know how to monetize it correctly. And in this video, I'll show you my top five favorite ways to monetize informational content. Here's a quick ask though. If you like what you're seeing so far, can you let me know by hitting that like button? Hitting the like button, thankfully, is not a necessary evil and you can definitely go on your merry way watching the rest of the video with a like button in its depressed looking state. But by simply hitting it smack in the face, you help my channel out a ton and earn my appreciation. Thanks. The first way I recommend to anyone and everyone in the freaking world who owns a website is to monetize their informational content with an email list. A lack of an email list on an e-commerce, affiliate, or SaaS website should seriously be a crime. 
Let me show you how it's done. I guess I understand why many people don't do it because it's foreign to them and it's a completely different thing altogether compared to typical SEO tasks. Well, let me make this super easy for you and I'll show you how much money it can make you too. Actually, let me just start with how much money an email funnel can make you. People can sign up to my email list through various forms like here in my sidebar or here at the bottom of a blog post or here where they're downloading one of my free guides like my evergreen on-site SEO guide. By the way, I'll leave a link to download it in the description. When you sign up, you receive a welcome email with a link to a whole bunch of free guides. And then in a few days you get an email that takes you to a page with my legit favorite SEO tools and services. Each of these links is monetized with an affiliate link. And just from the email list sending traffic to this page over the last three months on average, I'm making $4,562 per month on autopilot. Good job. Really good job. Note that I'm not counting any of the income that this email list is bringing to my other businesses such as my agency, The Search Initiative, or my course, The Affiliate Lab. This is strictly the front end earnings that show up right away. Here's how to create and monetize an email list. Look at what type of informational content is on your website and divide it up into categories. So in my case, I have a lot of content on on-site SEO, off-site SEO, case studies, and general business advice. For each of these categories, make a free downloadable PDF guide, like my evergreen on-site SEO guide, my backlink blueprint timeline, my collection of case studies, and my business scaling guide. Then use a software like Thrive Leads or Optin Monster to create and place inline call to action buttons in your content. You want to match the topic of the guide with the specific category of content that its readers would appeal to. For example, in my completely informational guide to anchor text, you'll see a place to download my backlink blueprint PDF. This will pop up a form for you to enter in your name and email address. That form will connect to your email marketing provider. For most simple setups, I use Aweber. Then, once someone has signed up on your list, they go through an email follow-up series that you want to monetize. Here's how you'll do that. First, send them back to your best of the best posts that are already monetized. For example, the third email in your follow-up series on your CBD site can send them to your post on the best CBD oils of the year. You can also send them personalized coupon codes to affiliate products and services you stand behind. And this is what I do on Diggity Marketing, send your readers special offers to your own products. The value of an email list doesn't stop there. What happens over time when you build up thousands of subscribers on your list? Every time you produce a new piece of content, you can email it out to your list, get thousands of eyeballs on it, get some conversions, and get a great head start in Google's eyes by stirring up a ton of user engagement. Or you can crush your competition on Black Friday by sending out coupon codes directly to your list. One affiliate network sent me an iPad because I flooded their order system on Black Friday. Guys, email marketing is such a slept on tactic. So important that I decided to make a full on module on it for my course, The Affiliate Lab. Please don't sleep on email marketing no matter what kind of site you have. The next informational content monetization strategy is outside the box for sure, but it requires zero work and that's renting out your Facebook pixel audience. If you have an affiliate site, you're not likely running ads on Facebook, but nearly every business you're promoting is. And if you install a Facebook pixel on your website, you can collect data on who visits what types of content on your website. And then you could rent that audience data to your affiliate partners so they can retarget them with ads on Facebook. On a CBD website, you could track to see who visits your pages that cover CBD and sleep. Then rent that audience out to a company that sells CBD sleep supplements. All you have to do is install a Facebook pixel on your site, create various audiences based on the different categories of your informational content, then pitch potential partners. Here's an actual email conversation on how I pitched this before. Hey John, do you guys run any Facebook advertisements? In July, our site had 31,000 visitors and that's continuing to rise. Your competitor had approached me about buying access to the retargeting pixel, but I wanted to talk to you about it first. Hey Matt, thanks for thinking of us. We're definitely up for that. What are you looking for? Well, your competitor hasn't made me an offer yet. Typically for pixels with this level of traffic, they go for about $1,000 per month. If traffic doubles down the road, then we can renegotiate, but I'm okay with locking that in for three months. You can see I'm leaving room for myself to make even more money later. Right on, makes sense. We're definitely flexible down the road as traffic changes. For now, we can do $1,000 for one month and test it. And as easy as that, with two emails, you can make yourself $1,000 per month. Now let me just say, I have no idea how this stacks up with GDPR and all that stuff. I mean, I'm from America where this kind of thing is a free for all. But the functionality is readily available right in your Facebook audience manager and it's probably there for a reason so you can use it. The third way you can monetize your informational content is to simply move people along to your monetized content products and services. We've already talked about the sales funnel and how your informational content is top and middle of the funnel. Well, now that you've done all that hard work to get a reader on your informational content, why not take that opportunity to move them down the funnel? I published a super detailed case study that goes into the nitty gritty details on how to improve website traffic and Google rankings. 
Anyone who reads this would walk away with a ton of new knowledge and SEO tactics. In other words, it's informational content. But you better believe there's an opportunity for readers to find out more about my agency, The Search Initiative Services. There's a sidebar link and there's inline call to actions just like you already saw with the email opt-ins. Here's a random page I found when I googled benefits of juicing. Right here in the sidebar you see links to four reviews of juicers which is the next logical step in the sales funnel. Use informational content to move people along in the sales cycle. Do not waste the opportunity and the traffic. The fourth way to monetize your informational content is the most common and that's by putting display ads on your site. What are display ads? You know when you're visiting a web page and ads will show up on the site? Like with this page right here that ranks for how to set up a home office. These are display ads. The most well-known place to start with display ads is probably Google AdSense. You simply need to apply, get accepted, and then start putting code on your site to indicate which pages are okay with ads being inserted. But depending on your levels of traffic, I'd recommend using a provider like Mediavine or AdThrive. They work with multiple ad partners to get you more revenue per visitor than just using straight vanilla AdSense. How much money can display ads make you? It all depends on how many eyeballs you can get on your ads. This case study done by The Conscientious Eater shows that the typical RPM that's revenue per 1000 page views on Mediavine will get you $10. The typical RPM on AdThrive will get you $15. With my company Leadspring, we typically monetize with the affiliate model. But we do indeed add display ads to all the content on our sites. I put up a video case study recently that goes over in detail a website that we sold for $600,000. And its trailing six months revenue was about $19,000 and the money coming from AdThrive ads was only $818. That's about 4.3%, not much at all. That said, in a study I did with Empire Flippers, we analyzed all the content websites sold since January 2019 and found plenty of websites making all the way up to $24,000 a month just from display ads. It all depends on your niche, traffic, and ad provider. There's concerns over whether or not display ads will slow down your website. And I'm not going to lie, they definitely will. But if you're implementing typical website speed optimization practices, then you should be fine. And in case you're wondering if you should put display ads in your monetized affiliate content, I got your back. Many people worry about display ads distracting readers from their primary call to actions on their monetized content. Well, I've tested it, and there's a link to a video with the results in the description. Informational content monetization tactic number five is similar to display ads, but you're selling them privately in the form of banner ads. Instead of signing on board with AdThrive or Mediavine who will rotate ads on your page depending on the visitor, you would instead rent space on your pages long term to a specific partner who would typically pay you more money. If you go to Spencer Hawes website Niche Pursuits, you'll see this in action on his sidebar with banner ads for both Ezoic and Motion Invest. And you can bet your buns he's doing better than $15 per thousand page views. To get these requires a bit of outreach, but if you have an authoritative site with a lot of traffic, sometimes they come to you, but it's rare. When you pitch them, be prepared to have your traffic numbers on hand because that's what they care about. What kind of traffic is going to the specific pages in their niche? And when it comes to negotiation, you know that an RPM of $15 is the lowest you'll go and that you should work up from there. I like to start with $30 and make multiple partners bid against each other. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe for more videos just like these.